Link blocks are just like div blocks, but with a link block, the area inside the block becomes a link. If you have an image, for instance, something you've dropped right into your project and you want to make sure that anyone who clicks or presses on that image gets taken to a link, simply drag in a link block and move that image inside. And in this, or any link block, when it's selected, if we go over to our element settings panel, we can set that link to an external URL, or a different page in our project, or another section on the current page, or we can configure links to start up an email, or even a phone call. Now, it's really easy to drag content right into the link block, but you might notice that doing that, when we drag text, paragraphs, headings, all sorts of text, text elements instantly turn into visible links. That is, they're styled in blue with an underline. This is the default way we display links, right? So how do we override that default link color? Select the parent element, the link block itself, and make those style changes. In this case, we've already created a class here, which we've applied to the first two link blocks. From our new link block, let's remove the class we've just created and apply the same class we used on the other link blocks here. Again, if we go over to preview, our link blocks are ready to take us wherever we tell them to. So, link blocks, just like div blocks, the area inside the block becomes a link.